Molly Edu. At Dennis Keton. We are the gatekeepers. The final, the final, the final, final, final match six Champions League group stage is playing tonight. Yesterday, uh, the matches, uh, yesterday matches played, uh, and as we show you on your screen right now, those are how, those are how they fared up. Which one do you think was your? Finally, Napoli lost mm -hmm. to Liverpool. Definitely, Salah did that thing. Absolutely. So it was it was a nice 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 game. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Tottenham were able to actually salvage themselves by winning 2-1 and getting up uh, getting the chance to qualify as number one on their group. Mm -hmm. uh, that was also another match to watch. Uh, then basically uh, yesterday was all good. So we now have 14 teams who've qualified to the round of 16, so as, as you can see on your screen again. Mm. So to, in tonight's matches, we only need two. There are two slots remaining. Mm. So who will be getting in? So Pogba, mm -hmm. we need to continue so that we can tell them who will be joining them. Speaking of who will be joining them, the first match will be Real Madrid against Celtic. The last time the two of them met, uh, Celtic were crushed three goals to nil by Real Madrid. Oh, yeah. What do you think is going to fare up tonight now that Real Madrid has already qualified? Yeah, I remember the last time they met, Eden Hazard scored his uh, goal after a long time. Uh, Vinicius Jr. also also scored. Mm -hmm. So as they're going to meet again, I feel that uh, I don't feel like there will be any difference in this game. I feel like Real Madrid are still going to dominate, uh, considering the fact that in match week five, Real Madrid lost to Leipzig by three goals to two. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a thorough beating, and uh, though I will say that Leipzig actually outclassed them and they played very well uh, by scoring great goals, Timo Werner scored in that match. So I feel like Real Madrid are in a revenge mission and they need to bounce back. Hence, them being at Banabu against Celtic, it's going to be a really, really tough game for Celtic. So give it up for the Los Blancos to win this game by three goals to nil. Um, I, this one for me is going to be a draw now that I feel like Real Madrid they have already qualified they won't risk their best players so they'll just re play the reserve players for a match which they're just playing for fun they have already qualified actually uh, the next match will be Shakhtar Donetsk against Leipzig last time they met I remember Shakhtar Donetsk won by four goals to one against Leipzig what about tonight? The same same Leipzig that won against uh, Real, Madrid. Real Madrid. This is football. I think they are going to meet a different Leipzig, a Leipzig, Leipzig which has already, which is now believing in themselves and who are playing their hearts out. Mm -hmm. uh, players there are actually good right now and they are doing what they know best. Nkuku is on form, he's on fire. Timo Werner coming in as a super sub is also another terrible, like another awesome guy. So it's crazy. So actually, I, I feel for Shakhtar. I feel for Shakhtar and I, regardless of them being home, I feel like Leipzig are going to come for their neck. So give it a 2-2 two, two draw. I'm also giving Leipzig, although Shakhtar will be at home, but Leipzig this time round, I think they, they, they found out uh, that they're in the Champions League a bit later. So Shakhtar, beware. These people will beat you by at least three goals to one. Mm -hmm. Chelsea against Dynamo Zagreb. Uh, the first leg was the match that uh, fired yeah. Tuchel. Yeah, sure. This was after Dynamo Zagreb thrashed Chelsea by a goal to nil. But this time round, Chelsea have already qualified, by the way. Uh, considering that they they you, they lost their last Premier League match. Um, terribly. Terribly. I feel like uh, your attacking is not. You need to, you need to, the Graham Potter, I, my own personal opinion, I have a feeling that he's playing players out of position. I see Ryan Sterling struggling to play as a wing back. That is new, but anyway, give us your prediction. Uh, as I'll start from that point of out of position. Huh? Mm -hmm. So I feel like uh, someone like Susurela still hasn't been given his initial position because he's clearly struggling. So it's crazy. So let's give, let's hope Thomas, I was saying Thomas Tuchel, let's hope Graham Potter realizes that and actually they strategize. I feel like this needs to be, uh, we need to, we are coming for revenge. Chelsea is mm. coming for revenge, especially after Dynamo made them sack their coach. So I feel like it's the time to rewrite the book. 
Chelsea will be coming in this game determined and ready to go. They will be at the bridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, here I feel like uh, it's time to take their revenge back. Mm -hmm. So if you ask me about this game, let me not talk much, but I'm going to give Chelsea 3-1. 3-1. In favor of Chelsea. So with me, I think I'll give um, Chelsea uh, a, a chance to bounce back. I'll give Chelsea by at least two goals to one. Fair. Two goals to one. Fair result. So the next match, Copenhagen against Borussia Dortmund. The last time Borussia won by three nil. Oh, mm -hmm. so great game it's going to be. Uh, I remember in that match, Jude Bellingham was very impressive. And that boy has been impressive so far in the, in the Champions League. So I think that nothing is going to stop him again. Remember in match week 5, Dortmund drew against uh, Man City. Mm -hmm. It was a nice game but boring because we, we, love, goals. we love goals. Huh? So um, today I feel like uh, Dynamo, uh, like uh, Borussia are going back to their scoring mode. And they will be scoring tonight. Bellingham will be back on the score sheet. And uh, I'm sorry to Copenhagen, but uh, this is a comfortable win for Dortmund uh -huh. with a 3-1. The away team, the, the visitors, those are Borussia Dortmund, will still win by at least 2-0 because of their form right now. So Borussia all the way. And mind you, in that group already Man City and Dortmund have qualified. So it's just a battle of uh, who will be in the Europa between mm -hmm. uh, Copenhagen and the other person. Juventus against PSG. Last time Kylian Mbappe scored two goals. Um, Juventus just scored a goal. It ended 2-1. This time round, uh, PSG will be the visitors. They will be at Turin. Turin, yeah. Turin at Juventus. In that match, Mackenzie is the one who scored for Juventus when they met when My they guy. last met. Mm -hmm. So uh, this time round, is uh, uh, PSG are going to visit Turin. I feel like uh, there's nothing much will change, especially after Juventus losing in match week five to Maccabi Haifa. Mm -hmm. It was a surprise, but anyway, this is football. Brace up for any, brace up for any results. Just the way like I'm going to close that zip to tell you that if you are a defender, you need to make sure that you close your doors so that nobody can actually um, score against you or Definitely. outscore you. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Juventus have been in their poor, poorest form. Massimiliano Allegri. Um, Time is up. It's crazy. Uh, Juventus board have refused to accept that time is up, but if you ask me, ask Chelsea. Things are not things are not going well. Mm -hmm. But uh, this match is not of any importance to them because clearly Juventus are officially in the Europa League. Not unless they want to behave like. Uh, Atletico, the way they had a chance to remain in the Europa League, but they bu bundled it and officially they will be nowhere. Atletico will be nowhere because they were they finished position four in their group. But I feel like this is a match whereby PSG are coming to win. Mm -hmm. uh, give it a how many? Four two. Four two. Well, PSG. This one is going to be a, a draw, specifically because. PSG will be playing, but what are they playing for when they are already in the Champions League? They are not like they are not like Atletico who will say we we'll either miss it or we don't get any. So they missed out the Champions League, and they didn't want the Europa League either. So they went home bare-handed. Uh, bare so this one it's going to be a draw, just a bare draw. Let me say one-one draw. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maccabi Haifa against Benfica. Last time Maccabi Haifa. Uh, were thrashed to nil by Benfica. Now that Haifa would be at home, uh, Benfica would be the visitors. Benfica is going to win this match just straight away. Maccabi Haifa, I think they are position three in their group. Although mm -hmm. this time round they have, they have really they really impressed me when they when we were beginning to bring in the Champions League, but so far not so good. So Benfica, nice one. Mm, Benfica have been impressive in this game. In fact, I don't think whether they have lost. They have done well so far. Mm -hmm. uh, they have already qualified in the round of 16 together with PSG. Mm -hmm. So as they are going to make uh, to meet uh, Maccabi Haifa, a team which is also motivated having won against Juventus. So winning against Juventus is not easy. So they feel motivated and they feel like they are equal to the task to run this town. So that's the reason as to why I feel like it's going to be a very good game for them to finish out with stronger. So for some reasons, I'm seeing a draw here. So mm -hmm. tonight I'm seeing a draw. 
but they should not relax and uh, continue riding uh, on the on the victory against Juve because Benfica has proved time and again that they can hurt you if you relax. Definitely. Man City against Sevilla. Last time Sevilla suffered four nil loss. What about this time now that they will, they will be at eighty hard? Is well, is there any uh, update on Alan Haaland injury? Haaland, let Haaland relax. Haaland is still relaxing. Mm-hmm. I don't think he will feature today mm-hmm. uh, because I know Pep is uh, keeping him for for the weekend because it's getting hotter in the EPL. Mm-hmm. Things are getting even int- more interesting. Definitely not like what we expected. But but Man City is a team which um, all teams, whether you want to call it Team A or Team B. They are, they, are, they are the same, they are all crazy, they are all good. So in tonight's game, guys, still give Man City a win, though not a big win as last time. 2-0, two 2-1, nil, two that should be the scoreline. 1-1, one, one, that's what I'm feeling. Man City already qualified. Pep will be playing uh, this young, the likes of Alvarez. Palma. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So those are going to play tonight. This will end in 1-1. One, one. Man City and any other English team, I can tell you right now, in the home league, it's very tough. The fight for top five at game week 15 is very tough than the battle for top one. Right now, Arsenal and Man City are just like this, but top four, we are many. We are many. We are many. Ask Liverpool, ask Chelsea. They are my eyewitnesses. More so Liverpool. So, <laughs> actually, I'm going with the, a draw, one one draw. Milan versus Salzburg. Now this one will be the last match. Now since they drew 1-1, how is it fair in Milan against Salzburg? Milan will be at home. Milan have been impressive. They have been improving since the last time they drew with Salzburg. So I feel like uh, the likes of Giroud, Leao, they are doing the, what they do best. Currently they are super motivated and trust me without a doubt, they are going for it tonight. Mm-hmm. They are going to win. Milan are going to come for it strong. Where will they be? They'll be at Milan. At Milan. Mm. So this thing is it's coming home. Milan to win this by two one. I'm going still with Milan. Actually Milan, AC Milan, you're my team. You will win this game by at least three one. Don't fail me actually. Three one, yeah. Mm. So guys in other news as the gatekeepers TV, I think we want to also pass our controversies. So Pogba, can you brief us what we are mourning as the world in the hip hop industry? Uh, in the hip hop industry right now, uh take off from the hip hop group Migos was shot dead. Uh, it was uh, actually, you've seen rumors going around, rumors going around. So he was shot dead right now. So the hip hop industry is mourning as we speak. So rest in peace, take off. Then also to some other sad news about Davido and uh, his wife Chioma. Can you take us through? Um, their son died. Actually, he drowned in a swimming pool. I don't understand how he, dr- he drowned in a swimming pool where there were um, social workers around. I don't understand it, but either way, he drowned in a, li- in a swimming pool and died. Yeah, sad news, sad news. Then Actually, this one is like a dark novel, right? Uh, it started on a, on a very bad note, but it is what it is. But on some other bright and nice news, so we the gatekeepers, we, we, we told you that we are here because of you. We told you we, we are here to make the show better because of you. Remember, we've been having specific episodes on the show, but now we are planning to launch other special episodes here. So if you are a lover of nature, if you are a lover of traveling abroad or wherever, so the gatekeepers, TV, is it right to say that we are about to dare abroad? As you say. So the Gatekeepers TV, we will be traversing countries across the world, across the continents. So we will be somewhere in UK, we will be somewhere in Israel, we will be somewhere in Boston, USA. So we will be bringing to you interesting facts or interesting lifestyles about those places. So keep it the Gatekeepers because it's about to get even better. We have reporters we have people on the ground ready to brighten your day and to take you out of kenya straight to where 
up down. <laughs> keep it the get keep us. We got you covered. So. Don't forget to subscribe by the way. Thank you. 950, right? Yeah, we are at 950. 50 more to go. Let's hit 1000 before we start the new episode, guys. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Yes, we can, right? It is possible. To find you the food. Definitely.